Hi Sag, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day. I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a private session with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. For anyone new to the channel, welcome and thank you for being here. Be sure to hit the notification bell. Join the family. I would love to have you. And for you guys that are returning, welcome back, family. Thank you for your love and support. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, Sag. Let's go ahead and tap right in. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, most high. Please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel messages for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all evil negative energy back to sender, 25 million fold, and anyone out there showing me love, much love and light to you. So, uh, Sag, I feel like a lot of you guys are in hermit mode. Some of you dealing with the Virgo. There was some type of deceit revealed to you in regards to this individual. They may be 38. You could be 38 or 40. But I feel like you really did have to take some time in solitude to meditate on some things like your self-worth what you really want in life where you want to go I see you moving forward beautifully you're very attractive and the fact that you are standing in your power and you know your self-worth amazing Somebody wanted you to feel trapped. But I see High Priestess energy. You're very aware that this person was not obedient or not loyal or not trustworthy. Somebody could be born December 7th, November 29th, November 25th. Yeah. They wanted to trap a high priestess. A lot of you guys have spiritual gifts. Uh, you may be into card readings or whatever the case may be. Even if you are not, your intuition is very heightened. Uh, it's very... It goes deep. Somebody really wanted to convince you that you weren't worthy. They didn't want you to see the power that you held within yourself. They didn't want you to see the power of God within you. You move forward. You left this individual in the past. Exactly where they belong. They refuse to do the healing. They refuse to do the healing and they don't want to let go. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Virgo. Lordy, Lordy. There's change coming though. And you know what? 
I do feel like trying to hang on to this connection, knowing that it should have ended. I feel like this really it, it created change within you. Whether you admit this or not, you are not the same since you met this person. You changed. You changed. You took charge. You took action. You took control over your life. You changed. You're not the same. A lot of you guys... You tap more into your spirituality. Hmm. The person that's sad is here to say spirit. Uh, what are they currently thinking when it comes to my Sagittarius? Like this person, you know, they seen your value. Um, they seen your value like the first time they met you, right? They knew that you were very desirable, very beautiful, very smart. But they failed to take charge. Like they could have left you on the back burner, put this connection second, whatever the case may be. They didn't show you enough confidence when it came to initiation. You wanted this person to kind of prioritize you. They may have stood you up for their friends. And if anything, you wanted this person to tell their friends that they were with you. You wanted to feel prioritized. And there's nothing wrong with that. This person can definitely tell you, but they will never tell you that they have never found anybody to replace you or your energy. You are 100% irreplaceable in this person's eyes. This is something that they probably will never in life admit to you because they got a lot of pride. How does uh, Sagittarius feel about this person? So, for some of you guys, this could be a new person or it may be still attached to the same energy. But somebody is, um, you may have felt like somebody was just, like they could have told you that they're not ready for any titles for some of you guys. For others of you, they may have not. They just seem like they're not the settling down type. I feel like you're viewing this person as somebody that just wants to go with the flow. Um, you do see them as being very intelligent. And you, I do feel like you think that you guys could definitely do great things together. Or this is your insight. If this is for a past person, this is what you, how you used to feel about this person. But if this is a new person that you just met, it's on a go with the flow basis. But you can kind of see potential in this situation. Let's let's put it that way. All right. Ten of 
Tell me about this new love for Sag. What does new love look like for Sagittarius spirit? It's a decision that needs to be made. Um, or there has been a, yeah, there's a decision that, not, that has not been made about an actual title um, in this situation with new love. Yeah, you, they, you guys haven't made the decision to move forward. Somebody could be in an unhappy situation with a family. They may have kids with this person or this is you. Tell me more about the two of swords spirit. Some of you guys are ready for this person to take action now. Um, you don't like that they don't communicate certain things or they leave you wondering. The attraction is there. Um, you're very attracted to this individual, but you just feel like they're throwing off your balance. If this is not how you feel, if you haven't met this person uh, yet, at some point you'll feel like they're throwing off your balance balance or juggling a situation or doing too much what are they not communicating oh why did this have to come out so you got the seven of swords um And then you got the High Priestess Reverse, Two of Wands, Tower Reverse, Seven, yeah. All right, so here's the deal, all right. Some of you guys are going to meet somebody in love, um, a new person. And what they are not going to communicate with you is that they are still seeing somebody. It could be a Pisces. They're being sneaky. So even if you knew about a person that they were seeing, they could have told you that that ended or that that cycle was wrapped up, right? They could have told you that they're no longer communicating with that person. They're lying. You got the seven of cups. This person is giving you illusions, confusion, got options. And then you got the tower reverse. That's, that's resisting the change right there. So, some of you guys are going to meet somebody new. You're going to be feeling this person. Y'all super attracted to one another. I feel like there is a lot of passion here. But this person's sneaky. That's what you definitely need to know. Uh, they could be a father, a father figure for some of you guys. This person may be a father. Um, they're sneaky. They're, I don't trust this person. All right. What are they being sneaky about? What is this new person being sneaky about? Oh my gosh, y'all. This can't be. But spirit is here. You know, I, spirit speaks through me. Y'all need to do a background check because I got sex offender energy. And if I ask spirit clear as day with this person's hot and, and the sex offender card comes out. Yo. For real. Definitely you got this person around your kids. Man, listen, man. Like, nah. You gotta do a you gotta do a background check. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. And it's a situation where this person put their friends before their relationship. You got bros before hoes. You know? And then this person's looking back at situations because it's like they would they thought about moving forward with you, but it's like it's other stuff going on. You see what I'm saying? Back there. 
Like, but this person going to be mad because how this situation is going to end is that they're going to be indecisive and you're going to get tired of this person not taking action. Some of you guys might find out that this person's hiding something. Even if they may have began, uh, started out quite honest. I see a situation here. This person going to be shocked because some of y'all meeting a new Pisces. And it's going to be a situation where it's a younger man, older lady, but this person going to get you right. <laughs> like they, they, they real with you. You know, there's somebody who really wants something from you, wants something with you, right? And you're going to be looking at this person like, why are you mad? Somebody came and swept me off my feet. Now you feel a type of way. It's too late. Like, you, you wasn't paying attention to me at all. Everybody came before me. Friends, everybody. But you got somebody else about to come in here and sweep you off your feet while this person's still trying to make a decision. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's pretty much uh, what the energy's looking like for you, Sag. But you need to do a background check. Make sure you know what's going on. Make sure you know who you're dealing with. You know? Like, for real. Seriously. Make sure you even... Dang, I just got a download. Make sure you know this person first and last name. Some of y'all don't. Or you think you do, but you really don't. I don't know where that came from. But do your homework. Do your homework. All right? So those are the messages that I got for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you like the reading, if it resonates with your story, show some love, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.